Well, welcome back to Soda City Live. Lovers of art and music alike will come together for one day in the Rosewood community for their annual art and music festival. Rosewood Art and Music Festival takes place this weekend and joining us today in the Soda City Live studio to share more about this event is festival director Dave Britt. So glad to have you. Hey, thanks for having me. Good to be here. Absolutely. And you know what? I wish that we had you on the other side of our studio so that you can perform because speaking of music, <laughs> you are also a performer as well. So tell us what your role will be other than being the director of the festival. Uh, well, sometimes I get lucky and get to play some events that I work. So my band Ashes of Old Ways is going to be playing the stage uh, on Saturday as well as a bunch of other artists too. Okay, we'll talk about that. How Talk about some of the other performers. So the big star of the show in this event is our visual artists. We have, mm -hmm. this is the biggest one we've ever had. We have over 60 visual artists, everything from jewelry to um, paintings, all kinds across the board. So we have that. We have three stages of live music. Uh, one's the main stage with John Wesley Satterfield from Nashville's coming in for a performance. Oh, wow. um, Interstate Exiles, Safem. Um, we have a new stage with a arts group called the Black Nerd Mafia, oh. and they are the North Main Street artists. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be poets, DJs, uh, spoken word, all kinds of cool stuff. It's a whole new element. And then we also have a string performance by the. Um, the orchestra they're going to be doing a, like a quartet performance in the park that is awesome so you're getting a little bit of everything so That's this right. is going to be something for for everyone there um let's talk a little bit more about the past events that you've had what number is this what year is this for you so it would have been the 10th it started in 2013 but covid made all the events go yeah. away for like two years uh, we brought it back for the first time uh, since it had been dormant last year and we moved it to Rosewood Park, which is on South Holly Street. And it's an amazing space that a lot of people don't know about, but lots of old growth trees and shade and grass. It's really cool. Beautiful. And I saw some of the pictures from last year. Would you recommend anyone to bring lawn chairs or what should folks bring? Sure, bring uh, lawn chairs if you like, blankets, sunscreen. Um, there's close parking right across the street at the Deer Dreer Memorial Stadium. Um, so yeah, just whatever you need bottled water. We'll have, of course, beverages for sale and food vendors there, too. We have Senior Burrito, Pelican's Ice. Okay. I, know, I know your young one likes Pelican's, right? And then yeah. uh, we have um, a band called Chuck E. Cheese, which does Chili yeah. Feast cheese steaks. And the entry to this festival is? It's free. Completely free. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, another thing I want to talk about, you talked about parking earlier. If we yep. can pull the map up, just so folks know where they can park. Okay. So you said the parking is where now? So if you go down South Holly Street off of Rosewood Drive, kind of like you're going towards Owens Field Airport, uh, the parking is right on the right at the Dreer Football Stadium. So there's tons of spaces there. They can also park uh, street parking as well and walk right across the street to the park. Perfect. And we have that map right there for you to take a look at. We'll also have this on our website, SodaCityLive.com. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the visual artists. Are all of these uh, artists from here or around the area? They're all South Carolina artists, but they're okay. from all over the state. And um, what we're trying to do is just help elevate these independent artists, give them a venue to get exposure. And the cool thing about this is, you know, we do a lot of events that have art vendors, but this one really brings out art collectors. So yeah. um, I've seen people sell art for thousands of dollars yeah. at this thing. It's really cool. And I saw some pictures from last year where there were some some fall inspired um, in, in art. And so it's also a really great time because, I mean, we just kicked off fall. So you can get you some decor for the house and also, like you mentioned, support local artists in that same um, in the same way. So um, t tell us a little bit more about why events like this matter. Um, I think that, you know, a lot of artists it's, it's very hard for an emerging artist, whether it's a, a musician or a visual artist, to get into some of the venues that, that are helpful to take their career to the next level. So in order for them to have a goal that they can actually attain and get exposure, um, this provides a venue for that. So it's, it's like an in-between step yeah. that really helps elevate people. Yep, so it's, it's, it's great all around. So where can folks go for more information or if they want to know about anything else that's happening in the Rosewood community? Um, they can go to rosewoodfestival.com for this particular festival and Rosewood Merchants Association lists all the events that are going on in the area too. 
Perfect. Well, this sounds like it's going to be a great event. We have the details right there on your screen. 901 Holly Street is Saturday, 11 to 6, and it is free and family friendly, of course. That's right. And there's a <laughs> playground on site, so lots of stuff for the kids to do, too. Oh, yeah. Tire those kids out before the, on That's the weekend right. <laughs> so that you can have some time to yourself as well. Well, Dave, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Such a pleasure.